Hi guys. I did a video about maybe a month ago regarding the missing 14 year old teenager Avante Akendo. And I'm sure other people made videos and they probably made their update. This is my update. And he he was nonverbal and he's the ch kid that ran out of the school without anyone stopping him and they had security guards and everything and this happened in Queens, New York. And now a few years through <sighs> I gotta breathe. A few days ago, body parts start washing up in the river and it was confirmed that it's his parts of his body. And um I think I'm, I'm looking at my computer here. Um, the, a decomposed torso, left arm, legs, and a sneaker were found. And um, ten teeth were missing. And he had on different underwear, which is very, very strange to me. Now, they are saying that, they said, I think yesterday, they didn't suspect foul play. Come on now. This is an autistic team that cannot speak. Um, how could it not be found play? And I looked online and certain websites and people were saying some really crazy things about... One, one lady with her crazy self said, Well, maybe he committed suicide. Come on, this is a non-verbal team. And... If he had planned to kill himself, I, I, I just, I just, I just can't. I, I can't even talk about that because I even put the, put something under her um, comment that that didn't make any sense because, you know, why would he kill himself? First of all, he's nonverbal, and if someone took him, they didn't have to kill this this child. This child couldn't speak for himself. He couldn't do anything as far as defending himself. And, you know, legs and torso and teeth, missing teeth and stuff. This just don't ring right for me. And what I'm going to say is, is that this family couldn't do nothing to prevent this. They just sent their child to school like we all do. You don't send your child to school and expect that something this horrible would happen to him. You know, and I think that school should be closed down. I'm sorry. It should be closed down because um, Eyewitness News, Channel 7 Eyewitness News reported about a month ago that someone undercover came right into school now. Nobody didn't say a word. Nobody didn't ask them no questions or nothing. They showed the guards talking on their phones and all kinds of things. So, even after this young teen went missing, no one, is th they're still not really acting like they care anything about this. And your children are at risk. Um, this could happen at any school, but... When you have a school with with guards, you don't expect for your child, especially an autistic child, to be able to do, just run out of the school like that. My heart goes out to this family. It just, it hurts deeply. It really does. And um, after it, after they start finding the body parts, I couldn't come on because I just, I just couldn't stop crying. This is the worst thing that can happen to your child. And um, being that he had on different underwear, someone had this child um, somewhere. And I don't know if they slowly start releasing his body in the water. Now, his body was decomposed. But they're trying to say that, oh, it was hitting against rocks and that tore the body up. No, 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 no. You know why you want everybody to accept this about their child, like their body got ripped up in the water that bad? Come on now. 
Come on. What I don't get is why when he was leaving school, now if they had started looking for him right away, as soon as he left that building, someone would have found that child. And being that, especially as it's New York City, New York City is people everywhere. So when this child left school, somebody had to see him. It's just no way that no one didn't see this child leaving the school. Someone could have stopped him. Someone could have asked some kind of questions or, you know, do something. And it just lets me know that if you see someone's child outside and it looks like they're up to no good or it looks like they're leaving school and they're not supposed to be leaving or anything, call the cops immediately. Call the cops immediately. You could be wrong, but what if you're not wrong? What if something is going on with this child? And if someone has stopped this child within a few minutes or maybe in half an hour, he probably would still be alive. And I hope the Kendall family just soon cannot bring your child back. But I hope you get as much money as you can. Because this is, this was not your fault and it's very unfair that this happened. I'm going to include some screenshots and I'm also going to include some pictures of Avante. And, um, I have a grandchild, you all know, and this story just hit me to the core. I remember watching the news and seeing the family out in tents on these real, real cold New York nights searching for their their son and the community you know was a lot of people searching also so this is my update I had to record this again because I was just on the <laughs> last one I was just boohooing and crying and pray over your children every night before they go out to school because like I said this is something that they couldn't prevent but um it was also some real stupid comments on this one website I'm not going to mention the website name but it was people saying that um he is blessed he is blessed um he's with the Lord and he's um this is no time to be sad. It's time to rejoice. Come on now. Look, I'm I'm a um, Christian too. But sometimes we can say things as really, really ignorant. Because what if it was your child? How would you feel if somebody said that it's a time to rejoice? You're blessed. This family don't feel blessed at this time. You know, this is really, really hurt. So, the thing I'm trying to say is, if you can't say anything to uplift the family, if you can't say anything to be um, sympathetic, don't say anything at all. Don't, don't do that. Because if it was your child, would you feel that way? None of us um, are so special that this can't happen to our children. And see, I know that deep here, down in here, I know it can happen to anybody. I'm not special where it can't help happen to my grandson or um, my even my grown child. You know, we're living in some tough times now. So I'm going to get off this camera and I just wanted to give you an update. And pray, for, pray over your children over your children. And, uh, I will talk to y'all later.